Okay. So how are you doing? Oh man, you, you, you don't have the white light. I still haven't got my, my light doing. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, oh man, okay. So just the solar flare, it'll go away. <laughs> okay, so why don't you give me a little context as to why you are contacting me or? Uh... Sure, yeah, so currently working with Lori, um, actually when it, it was in a role that was in before, uh, what I'm doing right now. So helping her, uh, integrate some software tools into her financial planning practice. Okay. Um, and part of that, you know, she's really involved with, um, you know, this process that not many advisors do. Um, so, you know, getting into the emotional kind of psychology aspect of working with clients. So she's really into that. And we're we working with this other tool to kind of, um, tie her approach into it. So yeah, she recommended reaching out to you and kind of seeing, uh, getting to know more about uh, you know, the, the work that you do, creating the the uh, the tools that she uses today and kind of figuring out how we can bring those to, uh, like make, maybe make them online or make them more accessible for, for clients, no matter where they are. Right. Well, I mean, the inflow matrix is a software system essentially, and it's a, what I've done is I've been waiting for the technology to build it. And so I've got most of it designed in terms of maps and interfaces, and I've sort of been waiting for, I don't know, sometimes the, the green light to go ahead because I've just been a, an inventor that keeps inventing and sort of hasn't had the... I don't know if you just say resources or the will or whatever it is, because it's it's such a huge body of work that as soon as I start working with other people, it, I feel like I'm going to have hundreds of thousands of people that I got to deal with. And, and <laughs> I, I don't know how to deal with that. So I pretty much just focus my, my time on design. And now yeah, nice. I have, sorry, I have uh, one developer in New Zealand who we've started the software program, who it's a sort of a new way to do chat rooms mm -hmm. based upon the conversation types. And so we've started and it's, we got a, a good start, but obviously at some point I need a whole, you know, team of developers and whatnot to, to bring the whole idea into, into being. And Lori is like the first test case in a sense of the learning center. Mm, right on. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the angle that I'm uh, working out with her is creating like the whole, whole online platform potentially. Um, we're still like figuring out, like the core tool itself. So the core tool is, you know, just trying to get this type of information from clients easily, like how much they're making, what expenses they have. Um, and then building on top of that, the next phase will involve like the kind of questions that she asks right now that are more than like the money questions that are like, what, what, are, what do they really value? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really early phases right now. I think it's just, um, my, my specialty is actually in, in design as well. Mm. Um, website design specifically. Okay. Um, so, yeah, just seeing if um, uh, just getting more more ideas of what kind of what platform she's looking for and what you're looking for too, mm. and seeing if we could help each other out in any way. Okay, so it's it, I mean sometimes it's it's interesting to figure out who's the client and who's the yeah who's who's who right, and I guess yeah. within within what I'm coming up with, there's an idea called a shared knowledge community, which is like a new paradigm business structure. And mm -hmm. here, why don't I, let me pull up a map or two for you. Just give me a sec here. Um, I'll just. Maybe uh, too much to take on for me. Um, be happy to share some resources or help connect you with some people. Either way, I mean, I think it's, uh, if it's helpful, I'm happy to help explore anything. Well, I guess it, it depends on, on like the guy in, uh, we're like right now I don't have funding, right? Mm -hmm. and, so, and so I'm sort of, I'm teaching a little bit to sort of make my ends meet, but I don't have the big funds to pay people. The person in mm -hmm. New Zealand is working, like what I've said to him is he will get paid as soon as the first funds come in. And yeah. he's, he's driving a truck right now. And I mean, I'm, I want to, mm -hmm. you know, within, within a month I would love to raise like 10 to 50 grand and just have enough to pay the people mm -hmm. that are working right now. And I know that once I get going, I've got tons of ways to make money, but it's, mm -hmm. just, it's just that question of getting going. I mean, I'm going from being an inventor into a business person. 
-hmm. And so if you look at this, can you see that? Yep. So, I mean, that's essentially the shared knowledge community idea that Lori, Lori has sort of agreed to. I'm not sure if everyone's agreed to, but I, I know that she's interested in building it. So it's a basically, mm -hmm. I'm an originator. So I've originated a new knowledge field. I've got like a body of work that once it comes into being could, could provide the whole community would work for everybody pretty much. Mm -hmm. I've got, and within four weeks, there's an earth manifesto coming out with a large buy-in from some major players, world leaders. And I've been brought in by a, a, a man who's been using my work for about 13 years. I took him when he was 20 and shared it and he just took off with it. And he's very gifted in his own right. And he's brought together sort of like a super team of creating a new earth manifesto that is going to be like the bridge into a new paradigm and the info matrix, which is the operating system, which I've designed is going to be the thing behind it. And th this map right here is a way to bring 144 people together. So it's basically 12 originators, 12 entrepreneurs, 12 coaches, teachers, 12 tech mm -hmm. gurus, 12 artists, 12 healers, 12 planetary guardians, 12 illuminators, 12 mediators, 12 facilitators, 12 youth and 12 elders. So the idea is that your gifts come first, like you design your ideal job. You're, you're working with all these other people and kind of like the minimum wage is like $100 an hour. And then we're working on product teams, we're getting percentages, it's very open book accounting. And essentially, right, you, we're, all these, at least for me personally, all the products, like the cards, they need to sort of come into the world. They need a product manager, they need, you know, logistical manager, they need all these different roles. And I sort of know the people pretty much, but I still haven't put everything together in terms of agreements and contracts. That's, that's kind of getting closer, but it's like a big, huge missing element of everything I'm doing right now is websites, right? I mean, it's, it's the main platform. I'm doing a lot of media. I, I'm doing, I'm training four teams right now of four people each and in Zoom. Um, I'm, I do about three or four other shows with other people. So I, I've, a lot of my output is like this. I want it transparent. I, the idea is called the very secret plan. And the very secret plan is me, sort of like this designer, architect, wizard, who's got this plan to bring this type of new paradigm platform into the world. And so all of the people, like this is your first time, we just met, you can be on the show, you can be in the plan, you can, you know, everyone can kind of participate as much as they can or want. And as they mm -hmm. sort of get an idea of the idea of what it is, it's like, to me, humans need to self organize right now, and build new platforms for the good of the species, and uh, the good of everybody, right. And Lori has had one of my maps for 10 years, I guess, the one that's running, you probably saw it, and she has a card yep. set. She's one of 28 people that about mm -hmm. 10 years ago, I printed the maps, printed, mm -hmm. you know, cut them, sorted them. You should have seen, they, they delivered them to me in a big box, unsorted. Yeah. I, I oh, had wow. to, <laughs> two days just to organize, you know, 400 cards for 28 people, you know, like, mm -hmm. anyway, so, so without a manual, without training, mm -hmm. and if you look at those conversation cards, yeah. once they get into software, it, it's gonna revolutionize communication. Because one of the things missing from humans that I see is the ability to go from conversation type to conversation type to conversation type mm -hmm. to, to get an end goal done. Nice. And, and so the chat room, and it, maybe I can, I'll bring that up and show you, okay? Um, mm -hmm. The beginning of, of um, the software program. Yeah, so it's interesting you mentioned Webflow. That's really cool. Um, well, do you think you'd use it yourself? I would love to. I mean, if I think I had a little bit, there's a few things I couldn't get at the start, but mm -hmm. I can show you some of the interfaces I've got already on Illustrator. And I think, yeah. okay, so now if I, um, so you can see this, right? Um, not this one. Right now it's a blank screen. Okay. Hopefully it's coming in. Oh, why is the screen paused? New share. Your screen is paused. New share. Okay. Uh, how's how's that? Yep. Cool. You can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you a gamer at all? A little bit. Hearthstone. 
have you ever heard of Star Trek Fleet Command? No. Uh, what kind of game would that be? It's it's okay. like uh, you build bases, you have ships, you go around blowing people up and doing a lot of mining, and it's essentially a Star Trek game. But what it has is you have alliances, and I don't know if in, in the game you have it, and in the alliance you have three chat. Mm -hmm. You have the personal chat, you have the alliance chat, and you have the galactic chat. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so it was the first time seeing multiple chats. And so what I did mm -hmm. is I adapted it, and so you have the one-on-one -on -one chat, the media, the media teams, this is teams of four. So in Planetary Guardians, you start out by having a team of four. And essentially, the bigger thing is a game. So we're looking at creating a, a uh, Planetary Guardians game. So the, the media teams, then superhero teams are like when you take five of those teams together and you have 20 people on a team. And the idea is being when you are on a superhero team, that's when your gifts activate. It's kind of like you know Ninja Turtles when you come together and like, da-da-da-da. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and so then the shared knowledge community is what I just showed you and that's 144 mm -hmm. people and then looking at issue coalitions which are sort of like um, you might look at any of the major problems we're facing it might be old growth forest protection protecting the dolphins um, food security air water whatever it is like I think media you should have web TV shows specifically for each issue and then you have the people looking to solve the issue rather than just having these needy report on, on issues and never sort of coming up with the actual answer. So the, if, you, if you look at the next bar of the one-on-one, -on -one, this infrastructure, research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, services, interfacing, stewardship, and communication. I don't know if you've seen Lori's map, but this is the structure. So this is one of the wheels in the inflow matrix, which is a software system, right? So then, each one of these, you can have like multiple chat, like three chat rooms open at once. Mm. And so you can be tracking, you can, it's the same as like all the other chats, but what happens is there's more of a, um, like if we go media team, now there's like five media teams. So again, I, I could be chatting with all the different media. So right now I've got four media teams. If they were all in here, I could be chatting with them all separately. Right. So, so from one platform, I could be uh, communicating with a massive amount of people if I wanted. Um, this, there's, there's seven superhero teams in a shared knowledge community. So there's seven teams of 20. So it's basically creating bigger and bigger groups. Mm -hmm. And then the shared knowledge community has a different organizing where you're looking at science, economics, education, technology, beautification, health, philanthropy, politics, governance, and community. So each one of these, again, is a different team. And so it's a way of getting like a large group of people, but then structuring them in a certain way. Um, and then the issue coalitions are, again, different categories. So, but there's something I, I want to um, show. I want to show you something else. Let me just... As, as I'm looking, can you give me more background of sort of like your philosophy on life of, you know, what, what do you see you would like to accomplish in your lifetime in terms of big picture stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, can you share that with me just? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, big picture stuff. Um, I mean, just kind of getting into that more. I, I like uh, the whole personal development kind of field. Um, kind of, I don't want to tell the long story, but uh, design is, uh, wasn't what I stumbled in first. So it's, it's, you know, a lot of struggle is building the first business and then kind of uh, discovering the true passion, kind of designing things. I feel like that using kind of this skill and keeping, keep developing that can really like create like next level kind of products, um, move ideas forward, just create things that'll help Kind of the next generation of people creating even better things or you know launch ideas that'll take us and kind of help everyone uh improve kind of a uh not as elegant said but um something like that i think okay so you do have a sort of a a, de a desire to help the species in a sense mm -hmm. like to to do good like I, I just find that a lot of people, I don't know a lot, but people seem very limited in terms of the scope of what they want to work on. 
Right. So it's kind of some people like see the state of the world and really want to do something, you know, to help out while other people, they just want a job. They just want a family and, and a life, but they, but they're not yeah. really committed to something bigger than themselves. Yeah. And, and so I find like planetary guardians are sort of people that, you know, really want to make a mark, really want to help. And, mm -hmm. you know, for me, when I was younger, I was just, you know, self-absorbed and doing my own thing, playing basketball. And, and at, at 28, I was paralyzed. And I was paralyzed from the C6 down. And that was the beginning of me kind of waking up to many things. Wow. Yeah. And so as I sort of got my body back, my body wasn't working the same way. So I, I went into the mind and I was on a spiritual kind of quest to find meaning. Mm -hmm. And so everything that I've come up with is, is as a result of, of a, a dedicated commitment to trying to find truth. Mm -hmm. And, what, and okay. what, I, what I found in a lot of the spiritual traditions, they were maps. There were, there were ways of organizing knowledge that, that seemed strange to me. I couldn't quite understand them. And they had levels that they had like physical plane, emotional plane, mental plane, and spiritual plane. And I'm like, well, what are these planes? And where are they? And, you know, how do I access them? Jesus and Buddha, they're talking about something. And where, where's God? Like, where, how do I experience what they're talking about? And so for me, that was more important than kind of the normal way of life for people. And I find when you dedicate yourself to that, you get answers, but you have to be fully committed to what you're doing. Definitely. So let me just show you another thing here. Uh, where? Okay, can you see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. So now if you look at, this is the next stage we're currently working on, where each of those chat rooms like if you look at the top right here, evolution, that is just sort of like the name of one of those chat rooms. So now this would be very specific. The issue, like, I don't know if you know anything about 5G, but they're rolling out a global 5G network that mm -hmm. has, has never been tested for health and looks, looks like the way they're going to create a global surveillance state even worse than it is now. So it's kind of like a, mm -hmm. a big issue that's kind of behind everything. Anyway, it's an example of an issue. And then you have a mission step objective. So coming into the chat room, you would have like a goal that you're trying to do. The mission step, there's seven steps. There's your start, your setup, your, your build up, your crescendo, ease out, connect and unify, finish. So there's seven steps in each mission. And then you have a, a time estimate for how long it's going to take. And then a start, you, know, you start your time, you get an end time, you have a total time. And then you have points, personal points, one-on-one -on -one points, group points, or community points. Now, this would be programmed. This is kind of like a facilitator or designer would program this and then press a button. Mm -hmm. And then the chat room would be programmed to have certain points, a certain objective, certain time and thing. And then on the left, I don't know if you look at, if you know Lori's cards that well, the conversation types, the values, and the conceptual lenses. You can make spells. You can like, it can be like right now, I'm in a bit of an, of an instructional conversation. My value is, let's say, understanding. And my, mm -hmm. and my conceptual lens might be mental model. I'm starting to show mm -hmm. you the mental models and frameworks for like the inflow matrix. So mm -hmm. essentially right now, uh, Noah, who's kind of like chief of the IT, is working in, in uh, to, to build this next iteration of the um, chat room. And mm -hmm. there's a possibility, if we get it done, that it can be linked into this Earth coalition that's happened, this Earth manifesto that's about to happen. And, and they've got like some organizations like with hundreds of thousands of people that, uh, you know, they do global med meditations, there's Unify, and there's, there's other groups of okay. people that have mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, sort of backup in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And so my, my work has never actually been seen by hardly anybody. I've sort of kept it tight. I've just been working on design and Lori was just one of the few people that have any mm -hmm. idea of what I've done. Mm -hmm. So that said, um, you know, in terms of, you know, the figuring out how to design a website for the learning center, that would, mm -hmm. that would use the business model of the inflow matrix, to me, would be very important um, okay. to figure out 
you know, there's the Plantary Guardian website. There's, there's, I've got like at least five other websites, but the website for the info matrix to host this chat place, mm -hmm. like we need a team to start working on that software side. And so the bridge, mm -hmm. like what Lori has is, is like reality. She has a learning center. She has her own business. So it's kind of like looking at Lori would be an independent sort of contractor using the tools within her own business. And then that's within the learning center. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if the learning center becomes the center for the shared knowledge community, then the shared knowledge community is an alliance with me, the originator of the inflow matrix. And I'm, I'm creating other shared knowledge communities. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of, I'm basically the system architect. Mm -hmm. And, right and then I need, you know, to find people, you know, who are interested mm -hmm. in the vision, who are, you know, kind of connected in the heart to the bigger plan. And mm -hmm. um, so I'm just thinking what you, what you have to say about what I've said. Yeah, that's cool. Um, like the whole process of creating things and making it happen. I, I think that's really, that could be pretty interesting. Uh, bandwidth right now for me though, it's pretty tight to take on like a full project like, like that. Um, I'm mainly like building websites that take a month where they have um, the content already. Sometimes they maybe, maybe they need a design here and there. Um, did, did, would, you, would you want to look at one of them? Yeah, um, yeah, love to. Cool. Oh, it says uh, host disabled screen sharing. Oh yeah, I think um, I have to uh, more and then make host. Okay. Um, so here's one of them right now. They're all like uh, tech startups, basically. Um, this one, based in San Francisco, they, they make Wi-Fi networks um, for for companies. Um, and then these animations I would go and make, just the design of this website as well. Nothing too, too crazy. I guess just, just, just the layout and kind of using Webflow to build to design uh, is what I do. And so, you, another one. so you use use Webflow full time kind of thing. Yep, definitely. Yeah, this is all built in Webflow. Once the the tool itself took maybe a year to learn on and off, but I feel like yeah, if it uh, took like a week or two, uh, uh, focus on like the the courses and the stuff they have, mm -hmm. um, you'll get it down pretty quick. Uh, it's it's really cool to learn. Um, yeah, something like this I would make for for clients um but i think yeah the, based on what you're showing um like the uh um like it sounds like definitely a massive project um i may be able to help like show different types of tools so like for the chat system um i know that there are these kind of like apis for, that you could use to um use their technology and you could create the design but this would be like the back end of the chat system. Um, and most of these are pretty cheap too. Um, you know, th this, there's 10,000 users, but you know, for a thousand users, it's, it's not that much mm. to start off anyways. Um, but yeah, it's basically the whole back end. Um, you, you could design something like this. They probably have this kind of template to give you anyways to start. Mm. You can white label it. And it's kind of all there. So these type of tools, uh, I know a lot of these, um, you know, Webflow can connect into this. This can just simply be embedded into Webflow. Okay. Um, and then for other tools, uh, I know there's this one for making like mind maps really quickly. Um, flow charts, wireframes, mind maps. Um, I'm going to see if I can log in and show you one of them. And is that, is that then, do they act as URL pages kind of thing? Yep. You can share them. Other people can edit them, access them too. Uh, so this is one that I made for a client. We set up their um, marketing system, essentially, built integrated with their website. So people who fill out a form, go into the website, that automatically gets compiled into a list. And then they can choose who in that list they want to send emails to, but it's auto automatic for them. So whoever signs out a form on the website automatically gets sent emails over uh, a year's time. 
based on that campaign. Um, so it's kind of like architecting all of this. Uh, this is another tool that I know. Uh, I don't know, just kind of like um, seeing all sorts of different tools here, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's good. Well, well, how about, some ideas. how about, um, I mean, it looks like a, a connection point would be that you're, Are you doing you are you doing Lori's website or the Learning Center's website, or both? Probably, probably not, because um, I, I mainly focus on like uh, tech clients. Um, I'll see because uh, if we can get funding for it, um, maybe. But right now the bandwidth is is, is like swamped with. Right. Um, how how much you charge? Like, how much you charge? Um, so hourly rate is seventy Canadian. Um, and then like price projects based on, you know, how many hours are involved. So basically cl what clients do, they send me a wish list, all the things that they want completed for a website project. Um, like the one I showed you, that one was about 10 pages. That one was uh, 6,000 Canadian. Um, and yeah, similar ones like a basic website, maybe one or two pages, I would do those for 2,000. But um, yeah, to give you a general idea. Okay. Okay, so I mean, it sounds as if you're. I mean, you you are building Lori's website. No, uh, I don't think I would. Um, okay, so are you because of the bandwidth her? right? Okay, so you're just not building of the bandwidth right now. You're not building anything for her right now. No, she she wants to, I think. Um, but um, right now, I'm helping her with kind of like integrating the last tool. Uh, from a previous project role, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're just integrating a tool. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, I'm helping okay. her. What kind of tool is it? Yeah, I'll show you here. Um, one second. I can log into. So this is a tool she uses for uh, financial planning. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. All it does is um, create like the, the cash flow plan for, for clients. So how much can someone spend, um, you know, that, that part of what she does. Okay. Um, yeah. So she needs some help getting familiar with this, with this tool, how to use it um, and how to use it for that kind of money aspect of what she does. Okay, so you're just kind of training her in a in a program that she yeah. already has. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so so I'm I'm a little when she set us up to chat, was mm -hmm. it what was the what did she see the intention as or what was it more um, just to kind of see what what would come together if we guys talk kind of thing? Basically, yeah. Um I think that's 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 pretty much it, real. Yeah. She, she mentioned like, uh, you know, the work that you're doing. She also mentioned these monthly, uh, it's like a four, four session. Group. Yeah, I'm, tra I mean, I'm training people in the maps. So I'm basically taking them through, yeah. through the process of making the maps and I have, tra and I have teams. And there's actually, there's a team, well, that just finished. One person dropped out and I think uh, Kaylee, just started a team mm -hmm. and and there's three of them and there might be a fourth spot just in case if you wanted to join in that's just mondays at, at one, 11 to, to 12 but um pacific say again i'm oh, sorry can you hear me yeah right um right on yeah i think that's what uh basically what she was trying to do just to kind of connecting us and seeing what, what, what could happen from it uh, just kind of like very open kind of discussion mm. yeah because i you know there there's a you know there's there's kind of all sorts of i guess like you i've got a lot of sort of things i can help people with uh, so my own mm -hmm. coaching or whatever is very is more around communication and stuff like that um mm -hmm. you know and then the larger projects are you know sort of about to happen in a sense of like now I'm 
I'm coming again out of research into the real world, and now I got to, now I got to figure out what to do, what to do with what I got. And um, yeah, and the thing is, like, I've had to learn how to do most of the stuff myself. So you know, mm -hmm. usually in other programs, but I mean, I just I'm just used to doing it all, and you know, to the extent that I can, yeah. which is you know, kind of limited in many ways. But I I still kind of mm -hmm. get, get get my fingers wet doing different things. I, I like playing with the yeah. stuff. Like I would love to know Webflow to the point where mm -hmm. I could actually just build the interfaces that I have because easily. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, essentially, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, right. To take an, uh, an, an illustrator interface and just import yeah. it in and have it, you know, and start to play with the buttons. Right. So. Yeah. Webflow is all shapes, you know, a shape within a shape. And kind yeah. of, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess uh, that could be maybe one way it could help. I'm always like open to kind of just showing tips and tricks here and there, just speeding up, you know, helping people go could go do things much faster, right? Right. I can share well, something. Well, maybe I there. should maybe I should jump in and look at and find because I think I found a place where I just kind of stopped. I couldn't figure out the next step. So yeah, let's see if if you want to look at it right now. I mean, sure. We do have the time. How old are you, Kevin? 27. And where do you live? In Halifax. Halifax? East Coast. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have you been? Never been. Had a good friend from there, but uh, I, I have a high esteem for the East Coast. I mean, any place in Canada, right? There's always, mm -hmm. there's, there's always great people, great places. Right on. You're based in BC? Yeah, so I'm, in, I'm in Vancouver right now. Right on. Have you ever seen like a multiple chat room thing that I kind of showed you? That's a tiered kind of levels of organization? Uh, there is Slack that I use. Um, it's not as similar, but it's, have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah I, I don't like Slack, I don't know. Hmm. Um, I mean, the only ones that come to mind are Slack. Like, you know, like company chat groups. Hmm. Uh, there is there is actually one thing though. Um, there is Notion. Have you heard of Notion? I've heard of that. That seems to be the a new good one or something. No, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, especially for like a workspace, it, you can work it into like a chat room, sort of as well. Okay. Um, but you could build basically the interface in Notion as well. Really? Uh, yeah, just very kind of low, low tech kind of tools. Uh, right. There's like you no know, this sort of new trend is like tools that anyone can use to build products yeah like notion yeah. okay i'll check that out yeah i think that like the tools that i have i think someone like yourself could build a could build something pretty amazing on your own uh, mm -hmm. with the convo types like i think there's a Mm. Mm. that's funny that we're i i my stupid lighting look at that <laughs> i feel like i've got the portal to the other U galaxy is kind of coming in and, mm. and uh, at least you got sun that's sunlight though right yeah you got no sun yeah. no not uh, like where i live unfortunately like the sun is only like in the back it doesn't hit the house oh <laughs> How many, how many hours a day do you spend on the computer? Oh man, I checked, uh, I get the alert on my iPhone. It's like 17, 17 hours a day last week. Oh my God. Oh my God. So you're right about the bandwidth. You're, you're, you're full. Yeah. So how did, how did Lori meet you? Um, it was in a role that I was in before, uh, before I went into design. Um, it's like a more like a technical product kind of sales and, and support role. Did that for three years uh, while building the design business on the side. Um, and yeah, she was one of the customers. She is uh, one of the customers. So are you, do you like being an independent contractor or would you like to set your teeth into like a bigger project? Um, for now, I think it's independent. Um, 
just uh, I feel like it, it's kind of like helping all sorts of different projects come to life. Um, like these clients need websites right now too, but it, I'm also like helping them kind of like make decisions with their product too. Mm. Uh, it, it's more product design as well as website design. Okay, that's it's a very uh, very leveraged position to me. You know, like everything comes down to the website these days. Or mm. Everything else is just sort of leading to or, or, or building something for it. But, and, and again, my, mm -hmm. my biggest weakness right now is I, I need to do this. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go to the washroom. I'll be back while you do this. Okay. So I think, um, yeah, I got this up, but I think uh, I kind of got lost. Did, did you want to show some, show a project and website that you needed help with, or did you want me to okay. kind of run through? Um, how about, can I just show you one interface? Yeah. And then, and then let's see. Um, like, let's say how you would build it kind of thing, maybe a quick thing on what you do. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me just uh, get something up here. Come on here. Can you give me back the screen or do I have to do that? Um, um, I think, oh, that's weird. I turned into the host. Yeah, um, I, I made you the host. Now, if you, oh, I see. If you yeah, click on my on. name and make, make me the host now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, can you see that? So the picture, like each one of these circles would be a picture. You'd click on the yep. picture and then this, the, you'd come up here and then you'd have links to the, the, the public lecture clients and all of those things would be links into other interfaces. Right. But this is the beginning of sort of like getting 12 people and this would be, you know, the clients would come there and then you'd see, well, am I a client? Am I an ally? Or am I like each one of those would have landing pages or, or into the entry into that person's personal sort of yeah. uh, selling operation. I see. So yeah, with this, I'll, I'll, I can show a quick example here. Do you want me to make you back again? Um, I should be able to right now. Can you see? Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's just a matter of like dragging blocks into here and then setting like the layout dimensions. So these, this layout is like, um, think of it as like, um, 
uh, it's going to be a bad example. I'm terrible at these, but like an ice cube holder, okay. you can design the ice cube holder to hold certain types of things like differently than others. Yeah. Uh, but for yours, it's like laid out in like top row, top row, top row, top yeah. row, 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 right? So we do something like that. So we'll call this header. Um, we'll center the, the things inside it. So we'll add a text, you know. Uh, uh, Got you. But I, that's, I would just import like that bar, right? Like I would, I'd make all the bars independent and then I'd bring yep. that, that in as a, as, a, as a GIF or whatever, JPEG. Um, so actually you can't import things um, like that. Like it's not like a direct import. You have to like pretty much rebuild it within here so it's not uh, there's no plug-in to import something from InDesign or other tools but couldn't you can't i can't bring in an image you can bring in an image yeah because that wouldn't like wouldn't i have these as images and then i would just inside this thing i would bring that image um you could do that too yeah so but for like a header that would just be like a you know static kind of okay solid background and then text inside it I noticed you use, you use gradients too, so those are kind of in here too. Uh, okay. This. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. There you similar. go. Yeah. Similar style to what you had. Like that, right? Yeah. 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 I, I yeah. like those. I like the pipes. I like metal kind of. I like mm -hmm. game interface kind of looks. You know. Nice. Yeah. Um. And then. Originator. This would be like the area where you could have like the, the selection, uh, choose like different um, links. Mm -hmm. So these would be the tabs. You can stretch them out and then this menu, I think there were like 12. So you yeah. add yeah, 12 of them. And then if you wanted to even those out, use this to even them out, maybe add a background uh, that would make it, you know, whatever the design is, you can always adjust it. But yeah, the layout will work like this. And then inside here is the content for tab one. So for tab one, you know, this is where you would build uh, Tesla's profile. Okay. And then the other one would be uh, the other person's profile. And then here you can make it so that uh, the profile, this would be the, uh, the, uh, Profile picture, you know, kind of like that. Okay. And then underneath would be the um, the links. And then you'd add a link block with some text, and just a matter of copy and pasting all, all the link blocks in there. Yeah, something like that. It's uh, poorly designed right now, but the, this is kind I, of I like get the build. It. just yeah. very fast. I mean, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you had the interface, I mean, God, I wish I had your skills right now. Do this. That's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it, it's, um, it may seem like there's a lot in here, but I think if you get about a week or two, uh, yeah, I'll yeah get you'll, it. you'll learn this. Yeah. Okay. And, and it, it's, uh, it's a tool, but, um, it's based on like programming in general. Yeah. So, you know, if this ever goes a way which they, they won't they, they don't want to be acquired or they don't want to sell the company to anyone um you at least know like how code works how uh, things are structured yeah so uh, yeah yeah okay well th thank you i mean i i don't want to take up too much of your time here and i i uh i i, I my guess is somewhere down the road looks like we could we can maybe interact when I'm farther ahead and you have less projects, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm always happy to kind of chat with designers and kind of, you know, people who, who well, they, make the world better. yeah, like it would be lovely, I guess, just if I can, if I get blocked to ask a question. Yeah. And, um, and I think that, you know, I think with what Lori's doing, I mean, I think, you know, she's, she's obviously sees you as a great asset and, uh, and Laurie's very, very linked into what I'm doing in terms of the big picture. And so we're, we're really looking at, you know, I, I think along the way, you know, that there's a tech integration is like pretty much the future, you know, it's like, how do we integrate the data? How do we integrate, you know, the systems and each of us is sort of a part and someone else's and what I have is an overarching 
sort of like the mother of all operating systems because it's like a language structure first. So I, I see the inflow matrix as, as sort of being a connective link to many different parts. And so if you're interested in sort of a more of a long-term allyship where, you know, we're kind of helping each other out along the way in different ways, we don't quite know what, but I just, I see someone like yourself as extremely valuable. And I, I know that what I'm working on, you know, is, is just a beautiful, fascinating project that if you're, yeah. if you're into design, you know, there's this, like all I've been doing is designing, right. For 25 years. So, uh, you know, yeah. I, might, I might be able to help you in terms of helping to structure certain structures in business quite quickly with certain maps. So mm -hmm. part, part of the exchange we could do maybe is, is again, helping each other out in our areas of expertise where again i can do things that you might not be able to do in months and you're the same you can do things in, in minutes that would take me months to do right so to me there's there's a very valuable exchange to having people in your network that have such knowledge uh, just like a friend right that's uh, you know any questions come up uh, go for a coffee go for a virtual coffee with us that one's space yeah right? <laughs> okay well that that, so, yeah. that that would be lovely and uh yeah. and again like this I'm going to load into the very secret plan. And so you're, you're on the show now. And so you're, you're like, uh, again, you're just someone on the show who's coming on and people can, can see who you are. And, and as this kind of comes into the world more, um, it may bring you fame and fortune. Who knows? Oh, that's cool. I, I love uh, kind of the, what Lori's doing with, uh, with kind of her business. It's so different from the others. Um, and it, it really shows in what clients, how much they engage with her. Yeah. I, I think, you know, really connecting at the heart. And I mean, Lori's, you know, just got such a big heart. She cares deeply yeah. about the people and she, you know, she's money is such a, a problem, yeah. you know, with all of us, you know, it's just like, it's, it's, it's a major thing. Um, and, uh, anyway, so I, so thanks for contacting me and thanks for interacting and showing, showing me that. And um, if I guess if we could maybe become uh, Facebook friends or something, um, um, I don't know. I if don't you have do Facebook, that or, but uh, uh, you're not a Facebook person. I don't. Um, no. Um, what else do you do? You use like Telegram or? Yeah, I, I use Telegram. What? Oh, uh, cool. If you find me a lot, I I think I'm Captain Sweep. I have another character, Captain Sweep, in Telegram. Yeah. Uh, so send yeah. send me a message in there. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's based on phone number. So, okay. yeah, my phone got disconnected, but it's still, uh, yeah. Cause when I try to add contact, um, it asks for first name, last name, and then phone number. So it must be based on that. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we have Gmail. Um, yeah, Gmail works. You know, works and until if we need more, we can get it. Okay, great to meet cool. you, Kevin. Thanks for your time, pleasure. And, and we shall be in contact. And uh, great to know you. Yeah, all right, take care. All right, bye.